a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Julianne Marston Clark, and the topic of today's lesson is the day God shakes this earth and the sky. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have your words that will allow us to understand what you have in store for us. We thank you that we have the privilege of studying your words. And so, as we are about to open your words, we ask that you open our hearts to receive the messages we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. The scripture passages of focus today are Hebrews 12, verse 26, Haggai 2, 6 to 9, and verse 20 to 22, Psalm 96, verse 9 and 10, and Psalm 99, verse 1. Here we see where Paul warns his readers to pay attention to what God says. They need to be careful to obey God because he is about to do something big, God warns. Only once, that is one more time, I will shake the earth and the sky also. Paul warns us to be, obey because God has not finished giving us the things that he has promised us. Yes, Jesus is our high priest, our chief religious leader, and the king in heaven. But we can choose to turn away from him and be lost. So we need to obey him. We also need to pay attention because something important is about to happen. So when we compare Agai 2, 6 to 9, and 20 to 22, Psalm 96, 9 and 10, Psalm 99, verse 1, and Hebrews 12, 26 and 27, we have the reasons why God shake the earth and the sky. We are now going to see what this word picture shows us. So in the Old Testament, the shaking of the earth was a word picture for the coming of God himself who shows up to save his people. When Deborah and Barak fight against Sisera, God fights from heaven for them. The power of God is shown by the mighty earthquake. And this earthquake, it shakes the earth and the mountain when God comes to help his people. We see the same word picture all through the Old Testament when God shows up to free his people from their enemies. So a shaking shows us that the time comes for God to judge and show his control over the people on the earth. The prophets, or holy messengers, also show that God will shake the earth when he comes to punish evil people, according to Isaiah 13, verse 13, and Isaiah 24, 18 to 23. In Hebrews, the shaking of earth and sky also shows a time when God will destroy his enemies. God made this promise to Jesus when Jesus sat on his throne. God said to Jesus, sit at my right side until I put your enemies under your control. Yes, Jesus beat Satan the enemy when he sat on his throne. But the devil and the ones who hate Jesus must be destroyed in the future. God will destroy these enemies forever when he shakes the earth and the sky. So the shaking shows us that God will destroy the humans on this earth who hurt the people of God. God also will destroy the ones who control these leaders, Satan and his angels. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words. We thank you that you have left us an example and that you will stand up for us when we stand up for you. Help us, Lord, to continue to study your words and to be obedient to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Alpha. We look forward to sharing another episode with you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.